Hello and welcome to Ferris Sports Update. I'm your host, Rob Bentley, and thanks for tuning in. On today's final show of the first semester, we'll check in with Ferris State men's and women's basketball, also Bulldog hockey, all at home this past week. But first of all, congratulations goes out to the Ferris State volleyball team for reaching the NCAA Division II Sweet 16 and the Midwest Regional Championship match, falling to Missouri-St. Louis uh, this past weekend. We'll start the show here today with head coach Andy Bronco with the Ferris State men's basketball team. And coach, welcome to the show. Thanks, Robert. Obviously uh, off to a great start, 6-1 and one overall, and a couple big wins uh, here this past week for your team. A couple big wins. You know, any win you can get is a big win, and you, you literally got to take them a game at a time. Um, but early in the season, you know, you do some score watching, some box score watching, and you, you have your own team, and a lot of teams just trying to figure it out and figure out what rotations are the best and figure out, you know, just the different combinations and re really just figuring it out on the fly. So to, to get these wins, as we're still growing and getting better, that's a good thing. Uh, but I think our best basketball is ahead of us. And, you know, a lot of teams are that way early in the season. And uh, we're no different. Had an early week game this past week against uh, Lewis uh, on the road in Romeoville, Illinois. And coming off the Thanksgiving holiday and a tremendous uh, victory, 89-87. to And a big uh, shot from Jack Ammerman at the buzzer to give you the win. It's a huge so shot. And, and it was a great call by you. And it was, a, it, was a, it was a fun thing to experience. And it was a needed win. You know, we're com coming off a home loss where we didn't necessarily play great. Um, a lot of credit to McKendry. They had a great game plan. And, uh, you know, here's, here's the clip here. I can't get enough of it. You know, you blast it out on social media. Um, and this is just one of the things that you end up cherishing at the, at the end of the year. And during the year, you're moving so fast onto the next game, onto the next thing. But this was a really big win for us because it's hard to play here in this gym. We haven't got a lot of wins here. Uh, over the years and uh, you know coach just always brings in so much talent to his teams I, th I think maybe a little lucky to get them early because they're they're figuring things out just as much as we are um, if not maybe more a few more um, transfers but Jack stepped up made a big shot he's made a lot of big shots against us in in uh, in his career but now he's made one for us so and his parents were there it was just it was a fun time how uh, much uh, energy and excitement uh, does that give your guys, uh, knowing you, you had a week of practice ahead of you before the next game, and uh, really uh, that momentum uh, really carrying over throughout the week? Yep, you can just study the film, and then you, you put the film into practice and try to get better in certain areas and focus on certain things. And, you know, you're never going to be perfect at everything because it's a game of mistakes, but you just want to minimize some of those mistakes and re really just self-scout and see where you're lacking and where you can improve and just try to make the practice plan and, and – um, you know, the lesson plan, design it accordingly. And I think we did that. Guys have been practicing hard. Um, a lot of credit to our red shirts and, you know, to our younger guys. I mean, the scout teams have been amazing. And just the competition level and practice has been really good. So we have a chance to continue to get better, um, get a few guys healthy, get, you know, get the combination right, and then just keep moving forward. Obviously came back at home uh, on Saturday, taking on Grace Christian. Uh, and uh, It's kind of been a, a series that's went on for a long time, and they've obviously had a lot of success at their level in the past. I mean, I really like what they do there. And uh, Coach Crombie has taken over now for Coach Bailey, and Coach Bailey's at Kuiper, you know, trying to start their program back up. But, uh, you know, Gr Grace plays anybody anywhere, and they play a really tough schedule. It's fun for their student athletes, you know, and uh, – then they compete at their level, National Christian College Division Two, and um, they do really well. You know, they lost the, even though they haven't won a lot of games, they're ranked high in, in their division, and they lost to the number one ranked team by a couple points, or they were down a couple points late. So it, they got a cool thing going, and they're local, you know, Grand Rapids, and they're willing to play. So we continue to play them, and I think it does us both a lot of good. So it's a good game to schedule, and it's a good game, you know, if we take care of business. And they've beat us in the past, and we'll never forget that. Um, but and they've competed and kept it close, and they, they do things that you know, hurt us. You'll see on the highlights here, they did plenty of, plenty of good things. So, but this was good for us. It was good to get Dang Rang back into the mix, get, get him some minutes, and uh, the, the timing of the game was good. Obviously got off to a great start here in the first half, uh, really shot the ball well here in this opening half, and uh, passed the ball very well, 30-plus uh, assists uh, here in the ball game. Yeah, that's something that we want to do. You know, that's the best play in basketball is just moving the ball around and passing and making two guys play and hit the open guy. So there was there was a lot of assist. And, uh, you know, right there we got to make sure we stop dri dribble penetration. But the, ass the assisting something we focus on, you know that. Um, but also guys just making plays in some, in some new roles. You know, um, I'm proud of Jimmy 
getting the nine rebounds and really getting in there and rebounding and you know Owen's real active you can see his activity it looks kind of funny here but he just this is just what he does he's active he stays with it and gets to the free throw line knocks it down here um, so it was, it was a good game for us I thought I thought some things that we needed to improve on you know just in, in general getting into our half court defense you know after the press got lazy with that a few times um, and then maybe just getting out to some shooters here you'll see him on the clips just over help there um, you know sent to the ball when one needed to go and you know stay out on shooters get some shot pressure but you know, the, the guys in this game the tendency for teams sometimes when you play a team in a diff different division obviously they're playing really hard because they want to they want to beat you know a higher division team but you know you have a tendency to try to do things on your own um, or get away with something I really just thought we stayed in system and played our style of basketball um, right there very unselfish they're a little give and go on the break you know classic basketball so I was proud of that obviously you had a chance here in the second half to, to play a lot of guys everyone got a lot of playing time here in this ball game yeah you know it's just it's kind of what we've been doing here um, as far as you know developing our young guys and redshirting a few guys and just the next man up so the, the guys that don't play as many minutes or on their regular rotation r really are good players and uh, a lot of them you'll see here in the future um, you know heaven forbid an injury or something like that but it could could be the next game it could be next year but some of these guys surface and they've been behind the scenes the whole time just working working on their game working on their body and staying ready and learning the system so it's a good good opportunity to get them some playing time and uh, for the fans to see them and for them to feel what it's like to be on the floor but you know they're the future so that's important for us 106 57 the win and now uh, kind of steps up uh, here in terms of the competition and obviously into GLIAC play uh, with the first two games uh, here on the road this week at Purdue Northwest and Parkside yep I mean when we play as many GLIAC games as we do we, you got to play a couple before Christmas and we take one of our two long road trips here um, right right out of the get-go and uh, you know you need to protect home court you need to find a way to get some wins on the road um, in, in the GLIAC if you want to stay in the mix for, uh, for the championship and then you know two big time um, you know in region games after that so we got four tough ones in a row here before Christmas you know throw in exams and you know knock on wood flu season and everything else that goes on for basketball teams when you're two semester sport and uh, you know we'll just take it day by day and use the information we have and make the best decisions we can obviously uh, this week Purdue Northwest and Parkside and two uh, opponents that are off to pretty good starts here this season very good you know um, study in Purdue Northwest you know I think they have the best chemistry they've had in a while and uh, five returners five transfers uh, playing well off to the best start they've had and uh, and then you know Parkside's obviously defending champs and um, you know contrasting styles so I think that benefits them um, as travel partners in our league you know the, the contrasting styles you really have to prepare um, two different ways for those teams and you know life on the road is, is difficult so um, our guys, some of our guys know that and some of them will find it out. So we'll be in for battles and we'll have fun doing it. And Coach, uh, thanks for the time. Congrats on the 6-1 and one start and uh, best of luck here on the road this weekend. All right, Robert, thanks. We'll be back with more Ferris Sports Update right after this.